And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own vintage stickers. So in the beginning, we're just going to use Canva elements. And then towards the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how to actually use photos and then transform them. So you are not limited by the elements that Canva has. So first up, this is a page that I've created and you could just download this whole page and use it somewhere. You know, you could um, create a whole planner page and just stick it in your planner. Or if you want, you can download them as individual elements. So I would just copy and paste my individual elements to individual pages. And now in this video, I'm going to focus on not using Canva Pro account because I know that some people don't want to use it. Um, but if you want, you can get a free trial and then just download this image without a background. Or you can download this image as a regular PNG, because as you can see here, I can't use it. And then I can go to Adobe Express and upload my image there, uh, edit it here. They were gonna remove the background for me. And then I can download that image and then choose PNG transparent background and just start download. So that's it. Now, Adobe, you also need to sign up, but it's free to sign up. You just use your regular account and that's it. You're done. So here I have my sticker without the background and that's that. Now to add more elements and to use these other elements, what I can do is I just write, type in into elements vintage and then I choose a filter that says only free images. And I could also choose cut out only. So they're already cut for me. Um, and I then after that, I can just start playing, adding images here and adding some cards and stuff. And what I also like to do with, for example, a car like this, uh, this one, maybe this red one, um, I like to change the colors of it. So let's say I will go to edit image and then see all, and then I'm gonna uh, decrease the saturation and then I can choose the color I want or another way is to just change the warmth of the image so then you have that older kind of look I also like to use in my vintage look just black and white so what I would do I would just create multiple ones and then you know change their colors um, individually and just have you know different images for myself uh, and that way you have multiple stickers without having to you know create them so it's very quick for you to just create those edits and have them and also i like to add a little bit of contrast to this uh, or reduce it depends on my mood honestly but it's nice to just switch it up and create those multiple versions and then i have more of a selection later so honestly if you just go to vintage you already have a lot of uh, selection there's quite a few of them uh, but there's still a limit of how many you can do and then some of them you probably won't use so the next part is how to create your own actual stickers so then we're gonna go to photos actually we're gonna write woman uh, with cigarette. I feel like that's something that's kind of the past. Um, and we're gonna go to photos and then we're gonna look for some girl that looks like she's enjoying it. Uh, so let's say her. And then what I can do if you have a pro account again, I uh, can just click background remover. As you can see, I don't. So uh, then I would have to do the same thing to remove the background. But another way to create a sticker, another look would be to decrease the saturation, uh, increase the contrast or maybe decrease it so it's more faded. Maybe add some fade also. I don't know about the shadows. Uh, and then I'm gonna change the warmth uh, to this. And I can also make it a little blurry so it's, you know, uh, it's old, so could even add a vignette, which I would never add a vignette in any other uh, place. Well, with this, I think. So basically just playing around with these uh, and then 
if you want also you have a filter that you can just type in a filter code so you, you create one look and then you can just apply it to all your images so that's the look and then what i like to add is washi tape to that so i'm gonna add washi tape i'm gonna choose free again and that way I can add this washi tape which doesn't really fit me I don't, I don't like the color but I like the the look so I'm gonna add an image and I'm just gonna decrease the saturation so it's not and sometimes I like to do transparent uh, washi tape but again it's complicated when you don't have a pro account so really if you don't want to feel restricted just got a 30-day trial and use a different account um it's less of a hassle than having to download it but anyways this is also nice to add some uh, flowers to it and again i don't really want to use these colors also uh it's better not to use these colors because uh, of the royalty uh, if you adjust the images then you can use them uh, but if you don't, then it's only for personal use. So here we have uh, our vintage look. I hope you have enjoyed this video. You could literally go on and on. I, I forgot one more thing. Uh, it's actually these paper uh, cuts. So what I do is I write paper and then I just use this and change the shape of it. Uh, so I make it either big or smaller. I like to twist it around and that way I can create more interesting shapes. So uh, here especially you can see how I did that with all these and this. So that also is nice, a nice little touch. Okay, now really that's it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have a specific style you would want me to create and see you in the next video. Bye.